Welcome back, fellow armchair generals. This is Gamer1745 here with my continuing playthrough of Hearts of Iron 4 with Black Ice. And of course, we're playing as Japan, as you can probably tell from the thumbnail and such. Now, I want to ask you, uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. You can also follow me over on Twitch. Yeah, it's Gamer1745 on Twitch. We'll love to see you around mo more often in either place. And if you'd also do me a big favor... Just take a moment right now and hit that like button. I know you haven't watched the whole episode yet, or even much of the episode, but it really does help with the YouTube algorithms, and it also tells YouTube the type of content you want to see. So, um... Okay, yes, we'll allow that. That isn't a problem. Um... Sometimes Twitch wants to um, censor things that are sort of wacky. No, because I don't want to. I don't want to enter into their war yet. We're doing our own thing. Um, I get I get your point, but yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Okay, I don't know what I'm gonna do. But let's move some of my motorized forces. Up and over to here. If we're going to do it, it'd have to be sort of a coup de main. Oh, you guys are walking, are you? I thought I sent you via train. You should have been down there long ago. There we go. Nah, we're not going after Tibet. There's nothing There's nothing up there to, to, to want. Just freaky mountains, you know, super high. We don't need that. You know, just conquering for conquering isn't going to be useful. Let's put you there to just protect against a possible British operation. We do have these guys spread out along the border here to push into Russia there. Um, okay, um, now you stay in West Tokyo and come over to Pusan. Okay, we will move some of our motorized forces up there and yeah. Let's send you guys over to... Well, once we get at war with the British, we'll see about conquering India. But that's still some time away. Okay, well, let's... We'll be prepared for maybe something with, with the Soviets. Hey! Moving our motorized forces... We're going to form a motorized core. Okay. These guys here. Hmm.
Uh, you know, it's, okay, I get that. And trust me, I've got a lot of call, phone calls with people with Indian accents saying my Windows is infected on the telephone. So, yes. Radio vehicles, very good. Um, recon. Yeah, we'll do that. So I know where the sentiment comes from, from reality. Okay. Okay, we're still getting problems with supply down here. So let's move you up to Shanghai to reduce the need. of supply in the region. Now how is... Well... I've... Not gotten any of those three cities, but they're getting closer and closer. And they're getting closer to Baku. Still haven't got Grozny yet either, but... Okay, the fall of Baku. Well, now they've got Baku. Or... Well, they still haven't gotten actual Baku. They've gotten close to it. Guess they've gotten enough to the state to control the state. I hate states. I hate them, I hate them, I hate them. Okay, let's send some of these guys up here. No, that can't go there. Let's go here. Just in case it brings us into war with... Uh, these guys here. Oh, this is all a no-go zone. No wonder. Okay, well then we don't care about that. Let's move them... over to here. Okay, well, now to keep from... No, wrong. Yamashita, he's pretty good. So, let's... Let's select, okay, um, these guys come to Pusan, but um, let's select Yamashita and deselect all of those. Sure you want to, yes, we want to unassign all of those. Now, um, where is this? No, okay, I keep, where is that? Okay, well, we're going to unassign him. Where he's only going to stay with motorized forces. Well, it looks like it. Um, but I don't know that it's as empty as we think it is until I get troops um, along the border well enough to know. But I think it is too. Uh, well, we unfortunately we did um, not go down that northern build-up path, but that's okay. Uh, naval air and air evasions, yes. We'll take that. Now here we're still having a bit of a supply problem. And yes, I am thinking it's very possibly our um, 
fleets and such. Okay. Um. Oh no, we didn't. We don't want to do that. Uh, no, we don't want to do that either. We want to deselect that. Deselect that. Okay, we can select these guys. Mm. Come down here. Kaiser Wilhelm dies. Let's move you guys, um, you guys up to here. They're in different naval bases. No, it's, oh well, I don't know. Um, why does oh it, maybe somewhere out at sea? Okay, well let's. Um, uh, no, we don't want to delete the navy. That's for sure. Um, we're gonna go back to port. Go back to port. Go back to port. There we go. No longer operate out at sea. Would they accept expeditionary forces, Belfast Blitz? That is a very interesting question. Um... No. Must be in the same faction, and we're not. Would have been would have been interesting if we could have done that. They're having some setbacks. It looks like they got pocketed. I still haven't taken any of those three cities. Um, yeah, I'm not going to jump into it unless I sort of get to the conditions that you were sort of um, talking about of the three major. No, not these guys. Um, cities have fallen that I'm with, willing to think about going after. Oh. Volunteers? Mm, we'll see. Didn't look specifically. Send volunteers. Okay, well, we can see about that. Let's see what we want to do. Um, unassign. Let's create another force. Let's put a new commander in to get some experience. Um, yeah, we'll put you in charge. We'll see about that. That's... Not a bad idea. Okay, ah, uh, three divisions. Yeah. Okay, so we got that going. That'll be interesting. Oh, you're already out here. Well, then, oh, stop, stop. 
Okay, so you should be based out of here. That's the problem, the Marshall Islands. Okay. I'm trying to get units that are not, that are still being based here. Okay. Um, uh, fleet submarines, long range submarines. Okay. Where do we want to send them? We'll send them down a truck. No, they're the ones that have been operating out here. Okay, well, whatever. Well, so far we've not seen much in the way of Soviet, well, some Soviet units up here. No, not gotten. Well, they briefly held, well, still held, holding, I guess, Baku, but new. No. Been pushed back. Naval strike tactics, very good. Now, um, fighter sweeps. Um, dog fighting experience. Well, Japanese are great dogfighters, we'll do that. Okay, motivate research. Um... Well, now we're mostly just fixing fixing our infrastructure. Um, let's do research or industry, industrial motivation, which should get us some more factories and such. And naval air innovations, great. And research on newer, better bombers. Well, we've gotten to not obviously the extreme, but yeah, let's do that. Getting through much of their national focus trees. Yeah, we should have pressured them. Maybe we'll just have to invade them. Well, that could be something. Let's see about that. Um, we could do a war to puppet them. Yeah, we should have pressured. guys here. Well, let's we're going to change template. Yes. They're going 
going to come down, well, to here. And these guys can also change template for better island holding. Factories, yes, we're going to get more factories. Okay. Um, yeah. To there. Aren't you at a port? What's wrong with you? Oh, you're the one that's already going. No one, the one that isn't going somewhere. Britain, okay. Nope, not ours. Tarawa is okay. Um, there we go. Get some of our island garrisons garrisoned. And we're going to convert you over to that. You can see now current or our new template stronger, better for. Okay, our troops are there. Are they under our control? Yes. Okay, so we can help fight. In the Great Crusade against Bolshevism. Um, see if we can help take. Oh no, we want to get there quicker. Help take Stalingrad. They looks like they're pushing on Moscow. Okay. Stressing our Indochina. Okay, stop, stop, stop. You come up to here. You come over to here. You Well, let's look at that. Um, infrastructure levels. Okay, well. Okay, let's move those three up to the top. That'll help. some of the supply situation, I think.
We're moving our troops towards Stalingrad. Um, where are they? They're not there. There they are. Or at least the Stalingrad front. We're heading that way. Assembly line production. Great. That'll help out a lot. Um, hmm. Well, let's improve our tank. Well, we can improve a lot of these things. Uh, um, there could be. Um, that's a good idea. No, not specifically infrastructure. We can improve various um, resources, which is good. Focus on people's 30%. Weekly stability, that would be nice. Let's do that. And construction, very good. Because what I want to do is get improved excavation. And you're getting there, taking a long train ride. Just three infantry divisions, but that seems like... Best option for us, because we don't want to waste our precious tanks or whatnot. Okay, as we reorganize. Well, we chased away some T-34s. Or at least that's the model they were using. And now we're being hammered by a big bunch of divisions. Okay. I think we're going to hold here for the moment. Now we're pushing in. How is our production doing? We need a lot more oil. Okay, um... Soviet Union is not giving us very much oil. Probably because it doesn't like us because we are intervening against them. Um... Uh, well, Peru. Let's now, let's go with 8 from Peru. Uh, and... Venezuela. Let's do 16 from Venezuela. Okay, um, let's see. We can two additional arms factories, support the speech, improved industrial output. Now I'd rather have factories, a civilian factory. Now let's do military factories. Oh, damn. I was hoping to be able to get in there when we had, we could support the Germans. Okay, good. Now that the Germans are there, we can do better.
Okay, let's see. We need maybe some more. Um, so the stuff I stopped producing because we had enough of it. However, equipment, we need more of that. And vehicle radios, we need those. Okay. Vehicle radios, great. And we're down from all of that. Well, no. We need more factories. Okay, well, just those to the top. Oh no, they're already there in production, so they don't need to go to the top. Okay, well, like I said, we need more factories, so. We're going to build here in Japan. And move these guys to the top. Well, there's a lot of activity on the Eastern Front, most assuredly. But I don't know how useful it all is. If you know what I mean. They're rushing around, they're they're shifting forces around most assuredly. But I just don't know if it's just activities for activity's sake or whether it's useful. Of course, it really hurts us that our divisions don't have any anti-tank guns with them. We can see that, like, motorized Russia, or German division there has almost no anything. And they're doing okay from uh, how much territory they have standpoint. But why is all this stuff going on? Why isn't there any Germans here, you know? There's no sense of like, um, concentrating the armor. See, like, where's this guy going? Yeah, you know, he was here. Why didn't he just continue to push up towards Stalingrad or something? I don't know if I'm going to buy production licenses from Germany. Just you got to understand partially um, things don't work because um, well because of some of the unit types. If I started say importing Panzer IVs, they don't necessarily fit into uh, my light and medium tank type stuff. So it doesn't work maybe as well as it might in regular. 
Yes, they, like I say, and it sort of kind of balances each other out, you know, for all the wackiness that we're seeing with some of the AI, it's AI fighting AI, so it balances it out. Let's push into there. Direction. The fall of Moscow. Okay, we're, we've definitely helped. Let's send one division here to keep... Try to hold the line. And they've got Stalingrad. They've also pushed past Astrakhan. And we've just got advanced weapons. Great, let's save this. Well, after these exciting actions and helping with Stalingrad, we didn't actually take Stalingrad, but we definitely helped. We're going to end the episode here. I want to thank you all for watching. Thank you for liking. Um, Finland's about to be overrun, is it? Ye we'll see. Yeah, maybe. Um, maybe that's where the Soviets sent their army up to defeat Finland instead of everything else and we'll see possibly i know we're rambling on here at the end of this we may be invading next episode um the soviet union from japan so we will see about that so come back next time for more hearts of iron